Hello, this is Mitch from Clickbait News USA, and I know what you're thinking. Another controller reviewer, really, Mitch? You're always doing game controller reviews. Aren't you using your channel Clickbait News USA? When are you going to get back to that? Well, I promise you the next video I've got is going to be all about the Keemstar scandal. And then I've also got a video lined up later in the week of Philip DeFranco coming out. I promise you guys, I've got the clickbait news on the way. But today I'd like to talk about the Hyperkin X91. This is an Xbox One and Windows 10 game controller. And even though I've already played with this controller, I'm just going to simulate an unboxing because why not? You know, everybody loves unboxings, especially with these fat, greasy fingers. But here is the Hyperkin X91 right here. Uh, it is a wired controller, so you do get a really long cable. And uh, one thing I really like about this controller is it's got the breakaway piece, just like the old original Xbox cables. So that's really awesome. But uh, here is the Hyperkin X91. Uh, this controller you can get for really cheap off Amazon. I've got a link in the description down below if you'd like to check it out. Uh, but just want to kind of show off some of the features. As you notice immediately, it looks a lot like a Super Nintendo controller, which... I know what you're thinking, like, why would they make a Super Nintendo controller in this day and age? Well, you know, I like playing retro games sometimes, and sometimes it's awesome to play retro games on a controller like this, which is why Hyperkin made this controller, clearly. Uh, but look at the nice curvature. Look at the beautiful shape of this controller. As you can see, it's got all the buttons represented. You have your face buttons here, your uh, menu, and whatever the hell other buttons, because what happened to start and select, or... Even back, there's not even a freaking back button on this controller, Microsoft. What the hell are you doing? Uh, then you got your analog sticks, of course. Nice, nice, smooth motion on those analog sticks there. And then finally, you've got a pretty good, solid D-pad. It's not as good as the original Xbox One controller D-pad, but it's still got a pretty good response to it. It's not, a, not as clicky. Uh, then you have these buttons right here. The L, B, and R, B, and the L, T, and R, T buttons. These buttons work just like you expect. But this is where I have a problem with this controller here. See the uh, L, T, and R, T. They're not very responsive. They have a lot of pressure required to really get to them. They don't have a smooth motion like the original Xbox One controller configuration. And of course, that brings me to a final point I've got here. Why the fuck is there no handles on this? Who even wants to use a controller like this in 2017? This is why we have controllers that have handles. Because they're so much better. They're superior products, I'm telling you. But no, Microsoft has, or I mean, Hyperkin had to make this stupid-ass design where you can't have any grip on the controller. Like, I mean, try imagine playing this fucking thing for 16 hours at a time and your hands are going to get all cramped up. I mean, what the fuck, Hyperkin? You didn't even think this design through. This doesn't make any sense. And look how small this stupid Xbox One button is here. This doesn't even make any damn sense. And it's wired. So if I happen to get up to go to the bathroom or something, like I could trip on the controller and pull out the entire Xbox One system and have that flying across and then the freaking TV falling on my baby's head and killing my baby and then everybody's going to have a bad fucking time where I have to go to the baby's funeral all because a hyperkin put a fucking wire on this controller. This doesn't even make any sense. Oh, jeez. You know, this is this is just stupid, you know. I mean, I just want to review a fucking tech product, and they send me this piece of shit. What the fuck is this? This doesn't even make sense. This is Mitch from Clickbait News USA, signing out. Have a great one.